Hey guys, welcome back to Ecom Street. In today's video, we're gonna be revealing to you guys six-figure dropshipping stories and how they've actually become to that level of success. Stay tuned. All right guys, just before we do any digging here, um, I just kind of want to explain to you kind of what we're going to be doing. So basically, we found and did some digging on the internet and we've come to a conclusion that some of these stories that we found have done some pretty high volume in sales. Basically, what we're going to be doing or what I'm going to be doing is just kind of go through the website and see what they're selling and kind of what makes them a six-figure store. We're also going to be showing some of the metrics here or whatever we can get essentially. Um, and yeah, let's get this going. I'm in the laptop right now and the first store that we've come across actually is called Inspire Uplift and now I don't know if you guys have seen this store before. It's pretty popular. I mean I've definitely seen them in my ad before personally on my feed so it's not just something I like I've just found um, but I have heard of them before and they're just a general store. They just sell whatever is trending on AliExpress and they just put it onto their store and they make money. Just really quick guys, we're gonna see if the store is a Shopify store. Now really, to determine this guys, if you have the Commerce Inspector app or the Chrome extension, you'll see that if this thing is turned on or it's shown as color, then you will see that it's a Shopify store and that's usually the indication. But generally, if that doesn't come on, sometimes it does screw up. The best way to do this is honestly just add a, a product to your cart and then check out with it. And then you'll notice if it's using like Shopify payments or the Stripe, and if that's usually the indication, then obviously you can see it's a, it's a Shopify store. But in this case, I don't think it is just because of the payment gateway, it looks different, just like the checkout. So uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not drop shipping. Uh, they definitely are just because of the stuff that they have on their store. It's kind of random. I don't think a random store would just have a bunch of random products inventory, like full inventory like this. So, but anyways, let's just kind of go through some of their stuff here. So their homepage is pretty neat. You can see it's pretty professional, right? They have their nice headers here. They have a nice logo, it's pretty simple, right? They have some cards here to display some of their spring sales, which springs, I guess, coming up. And I've seen some of these products before. These are very, very trending products. Um, and there's not much to them. Like they have a nice description here, literally. They have a specific details category right here. Sorry, a specific details uh, card. So it just pops up. It's not right in the face here, like every other website. And what I like about this website, guys, is that it looks very different than everyone else doing dropshipping, right? Everyone's using the debut theme. Everyone's using like the regular themes, which is fine. You can still get away with a de debut theme as long as it looks proper, it looks nice. Uh, but when people go onto this website, guys, they're gonna see that it's unique, right? Like they haven't really come across something like this before, right? And we know this story is doing six figures just because of the amount of times we've seen it in our feeds like we've been seeing ads from these guys for like the last two years and we just know that it's a really really high selling story and now the way we check this out we can't use commerce inspector unfortunately just because it's a shopify website but what we will do is go on this website called similar web and we'll just kind of see their traffic so guys, I was able to put it into the similar web here. And as you can see, it's literally globally ranked 26,000 on the search engine. And for United States, it's 8,000. So obviously that's like insane. And you can see that's actually 499 for e-commerce and shopping guys. So this store is literally just pumping out traffic. You can see it here, it's monthly uh, analytics. In September, 2019, you can see it's 1.6 million views onto the website guys. That is absolutely insane. That's crazy. And other, in, this other category here, sorry, this other metric here to December, 2019, 3.4 million guys. That is freaking crazy. Like that's unbelievable. So you just know already that these guys are scaling pretty hard. I also noticed guys that they have a lot of information here too, some relevant information, like they have their address so they could possibly be uh, an address to like a, maybe a potential warehouse. Like, so they might not even be necessarily drop shipping specific uh, products. They might actually have physical inventory now just because they're scaling so hard. Uh, they do have a phone number here, but I highly doubt it's an actual person that's on the phone. It's probably an automated uh, service that they pay for. And they do have a 24 hour live chat, which is pretty cool actually. I've never actually seen that before. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely a great story you guys can look up to for sure. 
it may, like I said, may not necessarily be entirely drop shipping, but you guys can get the idea here, right? Just because of the high search volume and also some of the products they're selling too. This, this is a kind of website where people look up on the internet, they'll look up Inspire Uplift, and it'll literally just come up into their, uh, into their what's it called? It'll come up into their search engine. Just because it's so relevant and it's so popular, they don't even need to run specific ads anymore. They can just get entirely, entirely organic reach. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything I can say about this store. Okay, guys, going into store number two, we have a actual branded store, a one product store actually, that we've actually seen quite a bit while back in the summer actually it's still being ran to this day so like i said it's usually an indication if something's been on shopify for a long time or a long period of time you know it's something that's selling pretty well and i actually have seen this product on multiple websites before so let's just kind of do some digging in here and already just off the bat guys you can just see how nice this website's done okay nice colors everything's properly fit together the logo is very simple which i like honestly you don't need any crazy logos today as long as it looks clean and simple and it works with what you're doing and that's that's really what we're like what that's really what matters so they have a lot of stuff on their main page here they have some stuff about the product some information even testimonials if that's even legit but um they could be from real reviews but what something i've noticed for sure guys is that their their product page is absolutely amazing like it's freaking flawless okay they have literally quantity discounts here they have all their nice trust badges and they're not like trust badges that are just flashing in your face guys okay they're just really really simple trust badges that's something that like even amazon would use or even um like a branded store like a like a department store for example and it's not it's not very uh what's it called it's not very flashy at all right it's very clean very simple they have pictures on the side here and it looks unique too guys okay i think this might be some actual custom coding that they did here for them to get the picture on the side and then have the text on the right side here i'm not sure what they did specifically it might be part of the theme this looks like the booster theme to me though or maybe even the turbo theme you can check that in the commerce inspector app because it does allow you to do that the theme says mtx main okay so they just renamed their theme to i guess their store but this does look like i think this is the the turbo theme. I think this is the turbo theme. Yeah, very, very, very nice theme that they have. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this might be custom coding. I'm not 100% sure if you can do that on the uh, the theme itself or if it's just coding. But anyways, again, guys, very high quality images. That's something that's very important to you guys. Okay, a lot of people just take the straight AliExpress items, but the images are very, very high quality still. Like they're still like 1080 by 1080. And the way you guys can do this, honestly, if I wanted to find this product right now, I could just look up mosquito lamp because this this is something i've seen before like i said i'd look up mosquito lamp and what i would then do is go into the images part and then actually why is this in french all right guys so basically what i would do is literally just take the exact name of the product and sometimes if you find a website that has uh literally like copy and paste from an aliexpress website usually you'll see like in the product details section of the landing page you'll see the actual name in the product and that's usually a really good way to find a product online you take that exact same snippet of the product like the exact same name and you paste it into google search and then what, what you'll do is go to tools and then also to size so then this i'll just press any size or uh, large and then you'll get the high quality images of the product because this what this does is it gets the large images and usually the larger images are the more high quality ones and you can see perfect this one's 1200 by 1200 so it's a perfect square and now this isn't necessarily something that i would use in the website just because it has the white screen but maybe someone using the product maybe even from a, a youtube video like a screenshot from a, like a really high quality youtube video um like something like this i would use for example this one's 960 by 960 you can see that's on a desk right um pretty high quality image right there but you guys get the point uh, but the point I'm trying to come across with this website, guys, again, like everything I've mentioned before, it's very to the point. It's very straightforward. Nothing alarming for customers. Everything's bolded. They tell a story with their product. Everything's landed right in front of you. So it's not confusing for the customer. Everything's just there for them. No questions asked. You don't want to leave your customers with questions that they don't have unanswered or they, that they have. Yeah, that you don't want to leave your questions you don't want to you don't want to leave your customers with unanswered questions guys you want to make sure your product description has everything they need to know about the product whatsoever if they even think to themselves oh like what if it does this then you maybe should have added it or you maybe should have thought about it better 
So that's how when you guys are also doing these things, make sure you take into consideration that yourself as a consumer standpoint and kind of understand what you're selling. That's always the best way to do things. And even here too, guys, they have some, uh, some informative information here of how the placement of the product would work. So when you're in an entry, the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, et cetera, right? And not a lot of people do this stuff. How many do I need? Shipping and delivery. I think that's really cool. A lot of people don't really care about that. So yeah, guys, reviews. I'm not crazy about we've talked about this before Corey's mentioned it it's kind of illegal now so we try not to implement them into our stores too much They're but illegal. yeah so you, that's totally up to you guys you guys can do that and yeah so that's pretty much mosquito trap acts all right guys so for the last store that we found here is called salty corn now right off the bat okay I'm not using this store as an example for, for the way it looks okay I'm just doing it based off of metrics and for the amount of times I've seen it on my feeds they just sell really really good products and it's almost like you guys could just take this and use it for yourselves and i even use it too so feel free to use it and it's kind of it's kind of all over the place i'm not gonna lie like they have this random logo and then they have this random whale or shark whatever it is okay but that's not what the point i'm trying to come across okay basic debut theme which is fine i think it's debut it looks like it's debut theme and yeah it is debut theme so it's very very basic okay the pictures aren't that great and now here's the thing, guys. People don't really care sometimes about the website. Like, yes, all those co contributing factors make a difference, okay? You have a nice website, you have a nice landing page. It's gonna increase your conversion rate, okay? I'm not saying if you have a standard website, people aren't gonna buy your products because that's not the case, right? Having everything implemented at once and having everything solid and, and a perfect foundation, it will increase your conversion rate. Now for these people, I don't know what they're doing in terms of the way it looks, but obviously they're making money. They see like even like this for example, like this trust badge here isn't something I would put in just because like they have all these like guarantee badges here, which is like kind of scammy to me. Like these are things that you see on like those random like black screen websites when you're like on a black market or something. Like I don't know, it's just like it's kind of scammy to me. But they still manage to make money, and that's the reason why I'm showing you guys is because they're they are a six figure store. So why am I showing you this? Like I said, just because they show some pretty good products. And you don't always have to make your store look incredible. Like I always do that. That's because I'm pretty picky with that stuff. I make sure that my stores look really, really nice. So is Corey. And, and then again, guys, again, three in one car charger. They have stuff here. The, the description's pretty nice, I guess you can say, but it's not very structured. Like they don't have any headlines. They don't really have any bullet points to display the products. Like, okay, maybe here they do, but if you guys want a quick little golden nugget here, if you guys have watched this to the end, basically, this, I'm gonna release some some facts here, okay? This is for all the people that deserve it. So when you guys are making your product descriptions, the general rule of thumb what we're doing here is kind of, it's almost like a check, like a funnel, okay? So you wanna have the question at the top, you wanna have something that kind of concerns the customer, right? It's something you do in your ads. It's the same structure as your ad almost, right? Except that your call to action is at the very top and not at the bottom, because you're in your ad, it's kind of at the bottom, right? But basically, you always wanna have a headline here, something that asks them about the product, something that kind of triggers a sense of need for the buyer. And then it will always counteract or go with uh, the headline here. So this text will always go with what you're saying at the top. And I'll usually make this like one or two sentences at most, okay? And then what I'll do is always the benefits after, straight benefits of the product. So these people actually have features at the bottom, which is really weird for me, just because I'm so used to putting features there. And this is just straight, um, like this is like based off factual things. Like people have done research and studies and they say that having all this stuff combined together in that order just helps the customer check out better and helps them understand their, their need for the product, right? So if you kind of just have things all over the place and not the main points kind of at the bottom, then it will screw around with the customer. I honestly, I honestly believe that. So like I was saying, features should be right under your headline of what I was saying. And then if you want to do a little bit more in depth about the product, maybe some like how it works or even where it could be used, why do they need this, like something like that, then feel free to add that right underneath the features. And I'll always like to add like these cool little GIFs or pictures. I feel like that's something that's really trending right now, the GIFs. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have had complaints about that in the past saying that makes your landing page is a little slower just because there's like more in the description. I don't think it's gonna set you back by a lot. If anything, you can go on, um, I think there's a website that, is it like GT Metrics or something? Yep. You can go on to GT Metrics 
and you'll literally copy and paste your link and it'll tell you how fast your website is and it'll actually tell you what needs to be cleaned out for you guys to optimize your uh, landing page times and you could do that with, with specific apps on the Shopify store but I won't go to a, I'm not going to go into depth into that in this video but like I said guys this store doesn't look the best it really doesn't they have stuff all over the place but it still is a six figure store and that's why I decided to put it in this video because it's almost like it's shocking of what people can actually produce and actually make money with um, but yeah that's pretty much it all right guys that pretty much brings it for this video uh, we hope you enjoyed what we were talking about here and like I said you don't have to take everything I said word for word from these stores you can make anything you want just be creative of what you're selling always tell a story guys I feel like the storytelling is such a major aspect in marketing now that a lot of people revolve into that okay people are just tired of reading about products and what they do they want to see why they need it they want to see why it would help them in their lives okay so always take that into consideration when you're advertising and also when you're making your product descriptions because I feel like that's a really really important key aspect you guys should understand with the whole look to your website keep it as clean as possible okay the salty corn thing that I showed you didn't look the best but it, they are making money so you know there's you kind of question yourself like is it worth making your website look nice versus making it like a quick website like that and just putting like good products on it well I would always go with making the website look nice just because it will always increase your conversion rate at the end of the day like if these people made a better website a better theme maybe something that maybe would load faster you never know there's these little things add up guys okay um, and yeah so thank you guys for watching subscribe to our channel we're always always posting valuable content and we will see you guys in the next video.